Welcome to another session with uh, Typo3. In this session, again, we're going to be continuing with our look at the uh, news extension to Typo3. And specifically, we're going to be looking at adding related links to a news item or a blog article, blog news article, blog item, blog item, news article, what it, you know what I mean. What we want to be able to do is create a list of links, of uh, one or more links, that are related to the article so that the reader at the bottom of the article will get a list of some links either that were mentioned in the article or that are related to what you were talking about. In our scenario, we're just going to be adding them to an existing um, article that I already have in the system, but uh, you'll get the idea of what needs to be done to do that. So let's um, get into our Type of 3 backend environment. Okay, so if you haven't already logged in, you'll want to do that. And then what we're going to do is use again when we're working with the news because it's a plugin. We're generally working with database records, and so we'll be using the list tool in the uh, in the web section here. So we click on list, and what we're looking for again is where your news or blog posts are stored, the system folder where they're stored, which is already selected here. It's remembering that from the last time we were um, in the system. And then what we're going to do is edit an existing or you can start a brand new one. Either way what you want to do is get the, uh, the news form up and, and so here we are in the, uh, the general tab. Now there's nothing specific in the general tab here that um, is related to this but when you go to relations the relations tab is really about things that are related to the body, the text body of the news or blog article. And so that has to do with categories and images and links and other um, blog or, or news items. And so in our scenario right now what we want to do is we want to add a couple of links that are related to this news post. And the way you do that is a little bit techy, it's a little bit geeky. But it's not um, it's not too geeky. The thing that you have to remember is that you're actually adding a link. So you want to do a, a, an open bracket there or the uh, less than sign. Then you do capital L-I-N-K. So it's just a link. Then you put in your actual link. Now you can paste this in from your, your browser address bar or if you know it directly. And you do want to put in the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. That makes the system know that it actually is a link external to the site. Um, so what you're going to do now is I'm just going to, for example, I'm just going to use Google. Okay. And when we close that, and then we want to put in the actual text that's displayed that they will click on to go to this link. So I'm just going to call this Google search. And then we just want to finish this off with a less than um, forward slash link. So that tells the system that that's one comprehensive link. And then we can continue to add another one. I'm going to say yahoo.com. So we'll pretend this is about an article about search. And so there we have two links added in to the related items, related to the news item. And again, the, the, uh, the format is link. The actual URL to the page that you want to link to. And you close it off. Then you put in the text that will be displayed that the user will click on, the visitor will click on with their mouse. And then, of course, you want to close it off with a less than forward slash link greater than sign. Okay, and we're gonna we're gonna save this and then we're gonna look at this blog article in the front end of the site. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the blog article here. Oh I don't think I clicked on the right one. Let me just go back and check. I was testing new users. Okay, so I'm going to go back down, click on testing new users. Got to click on the right one for this to work. And here we go. 
Now at the bottom of our post right here, we have our little box here that, that draws the attention to the reader. And then we have our two links, Google Search and Yahoo Search. And when we click on that, here you can see it's opened the Yahoo, the Yahoo page with uh, their web search available. So that's, um, that's how you do it. So you get into your backend form, into your relations, you add that in, and that will put process that within the plugin and add those links to the bottom of your news or blog item. I hope this is useful and that you'll continue to join us for other tutorials and how to use the Type of 3 system.